Alright, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Firstly, I just want to say I hope everyone's okay. I say this is week eight for the UK for lockdown. I think it's starting to get to a few people. I say I'm still coming out in the garage, still continuing on. Over the last couple of episodes I have taken a break from the project of the Z650 restoration build. Behind the scenes I'm actually starting to rub down the, the paintworks obviously with the problems I had. A big thank you to everybody that sent me messages, tips, advice, much much appreciated. The tank, yes, that top area it does look like it was it was my fault, it was preparation. Obviously the cloth I used wasn't the best cloth to use, I wiped it down and then sprayed and obviously some of the dust particles and hairs that were on the rag, it wasn't a clean rag so that, that's my own fault. I really appreciate the comment I got about the plastics, that the cracking apparently was due to uh, a reaction with the paint obviously I've used with the reaction of what was underneath so I've started to basically go strip all the way back and try and get down to the the original plastic. But obviously, it's it's taken a long time. I am I am looking into. I know you can't use well, as far as I know, I might be wrong. I know you can't use well. Apparently, you can't use paint stripper. But I have seen uh, there was a video I saw the other day where a guy was actually using. I think it started with a P. It was like an aircraft paint stripper and he did it on some quad plastics and it just bubbled it, he washed it off and the original plastics were still okay, no problem. So I'm looking into that, that might save some time because it is taking a long, long time. I've got a couple of bits on the bench today. I'm still continuing on. If you remember a few episodes ago, I started to strip the rear wheel hub of the Z650, it was completely black. As you can see it is, it's had some work on it. I've started cleaning the insides. I'm going to leave that inner side black. That's obviously got to be cleaned out. Obviously the brake sides, the bearings got to come out bearings will come out that side so we're going to pull those out today but say so today is just odds and sods really it's I want to get this sorted and also off subject from the project again I'm just trying to refurb up some old risers Many of you might remember these. These were on the GSXR 1100W yokes. These were actually originally, well, believe it or not, these were these were sprayed blue as well. They were like an anodized blue, so I stripped them off ages ago. So I want to try and bring these up. Had a little go already. It's still some work to do on it. But I'll show you what I mean. Right, so as you can see a close up of the hub. It has started coming up. There's still areas in there. Start working around, start rubbing this down, getting this smooth. There's a few bits where obviously the old spokes were. So we'll concentrate on that today as well. But yeah, I, I do a lot of odd jobs here and there, just refurbing parts up. I mean, these I've had for ages. Let's so say that's what it started off like. That's coming, there's still a few areas you see it just on that end a little bit there it 
So as I mentioned in the previous video, I do occasionally also bring in parts. I showed you the XS750 uh, cylinder head and rocker cover. That, as I say, let me know if you want to see that and I'll strip that down. It's, it's all part of helpful learning. The other thing I wanted to cover is obviously some of the things I use to actually strip these parts down. One of it, you've probably seen these available on eBay, the actual scouring wheels. I actually did buy some ages ago just to see what they were like. I just bought the, the double and as you can see very thin and just disappeared didn't last at all so I show you that's what I'm using at the moment and I actually put that together myself all right so I'll show you what I mean as I say as I showed you just a minute ago these are the ones that I say they're very very thin didn't last at all Right, so you've probably seen these on eBay. You can buy them in uh, packs of buy them in packs of ten. They are quite cheap to buy a pack of ten. I say I've got the the red, the coarser one, and the green, smoother one. As I say, this is the one I actually put together. It's quite crude. But it does the job. It's separated. I actually used what this consisted of was this outer side was a piece of leather in the middle, piece of leather on the back and they used some sort of like a, a nail that went through and then was folded over. I just used screws and then cut the ends off. But literally I think these I think they were about four or five pounds just for a double. Might have been cheaper, I don't know, don't quote me on that. And as I say, they're just disintegrated. Pack of ten of these, dirt cheap. So literally all I did, I actually used one of my buffing wheels. And to literally just cut round. I've still got most of a pad left that I can use as a hand pad. Obviously you can make it as thick or as thin if you want a triple wheel, single wheel, double wheel. I mean as you can see by that, that was done some time ago and I've actually it's actually wearing quite well. Obviously I can reverse it and start using the other side because it flattens down. But I just found that a cheap way rather than spending extortionate amounts on them. But as I say, you can find packs of 10 of these. I'll make a softer version up as well, which helps me with the, with the, with the rubbing down. It does scale nicely and then I can go into wet and dry. As I say, I've I've got literally well, I was to, uh, I only bought one pack of the of the red, two packs of the green because I do use quite a lot of them. But I think the price of probably them three was near enough the equivalent of what I paid for one of those. All right, one thing I did want to mention, and this is actually aimed at uh, I won't mention his name, but you'll know who he is. Uh, it's quite quite an inspiration, so I, I hope. I hope you enjoy this. It's not as good as yours. But it is definitely getting there. That's the messy one. Yeah, that 
one I haven't got to yet. That one's getting there, it's a work in progress. I'll say the rest I haven't got to yet. Obviously that's where I keep all my all my buffing wheels cleaning, etc. All sandpapers. And oh, I apologize, you know who you are. My my Allen key drawer is disgusting. <laughs> but thanks for the advice and the uh well, to kick up the arse to actually sort it out. But right, let's get back to this hub. All right, so first job is remove the circlip, which I've done. Again, that'll be cleaned up. Put a bit of penetrating fluid in there just to try and free it up, because it's pretty... Uh, See, pretty rusty in there. Right, so next job is pull that bearing out. Right, so I've given it a good clean out in there. Fifteen. It's small. Let's try fifteen. Finally, All right, that took a while. As you can see, it's pretty yuck in there. All right, so I'll get that bearing out. We'll flip it over, do the other side. All right, so the bearing's out. Let's hide it. Center spacer. Flip it over. the other one out that's even worse all right let me get cleared up pack this tool away anybody's interested obviously that's the bridge puller and that's the blind bearing puller kit which comes with the bridge puller I'll separate this put this back together and put it in the kit and you can have a look right so that's all out pretty, pretty disgusting now I'll give that all a clean out 
clean out the spacer, replace the bearings. But that's the kit. So you've got your slide ammo. Up to a 32. Now you've got 32, 30, 25s. 2017, obviously I had the 15 on there, 10. And I think a 12, 10 and an 8. So, good piece of kit. Not cheap, but well worth the investment. I use it quite a lot. But I'll get that slide, the, the spacer the sleeve cleaned up. Give that a clean up inside, and then we'll start on the actual hub. Right, so that's the spacer all cleaned up and the sir clip cleaned out the inside obviously that'll all be regreased when it goes back together to go back in the in the bike so next I'm gonna run this under this wheel I'm not really going for a super mirrored finish it's just clean and tidy It's not that bad to say there's little bits inside. But say so I'll give it a run under this wheel first. I've already got some pads down. Unfortunately I haven't got another one of these. So I'm gonna use a couple of spacers on each side, maybe a washer in the middle, and we'll cut and make our own. So let me run this under first, join me again after I've gone through this wheel. Right, so that's had its first pass through the red course wheel. Hasn't come up too bad. So I'll move that to one side. So let's make a softer wheel. Alright, so as I said, I'm just using actually one of my uh, buffing wheels. Not a brilliant circle, but it does the job. Don't need the excess, I'm still left with a, a good size pad. <clears throat> right, so all I need to do now is just repeat what I've just done. Ready, done. So I'd say the two of those, I'll put a washer in between and then we'll just put a hole through the centre. That's done, not perfectly circular, I'm not very good at cutting out circles but it will wear down anyway. Works perfectly. Right, so next job I'll run this under green wheels and I'll show you the results after. Alright, so that's just come out of the green wheel. Still, it'll take a while, but there's little bits. Let's see, just up in there, I'll get to them. Overall, it's coming out alright. So let's get some polish on it under this wheel. Need 
need to wipe off obviously the excess but I'm going to keep on with this join me again when I've got one side done alright that is that side basically done now just got to do the centre and the other side I say I'm not going for mega mirror polished because obviously the uh, brake cover is polished I'm just looking clean so happy with that so all I've got to do now is crack on with the center and the other side so I'll get that done and that should just about wrap it up for this this episode. All right, and that is basically done. So a few little bits in the ends there I need to address, but overall. That was the look I was going for. So I'm happy with how that came out. As I say, easy enough to do. Cost pennies literally to do that. So that's what I'll be doing in future. Swapping them out between what I've got supply. As I say, that's just literally a spacer in between two together but no please please with that so they can this can all sit to one side the bearings will go in at a later date they'll be thrown and as I say these are continue on I say these is just a sideline project for gives me something to do really So thanks for joining me on that one. I'm glad how that turned out. As I say, I wasn't going for an ultra mirrored finished, but it has come up quite uh, nice and clean. So I cleaned all the spindles up. The circuit came up quite well as well. I need to get some bearings ordered, then we can put the bearings in. Then I can look at starting to actually relace the rear wheel. I'm going to see if I can try and use my original rim don't have a replacement front rim but I'm going to have a look at that see how it is and then as I like sitting up in the in the roof rafters at the moment and then I can move on I say like I want to try and mix things up a little bit so it's not all project all the time it can get a bit uh, repetitive I suppose some people like it some people don't so I have tried to mix the videos up recently and it is kind of working. It's different interests and different aspects and sites and you know like a, like the um, what I film well what I filmed off camera which I don't normally film you know it's just it's just trying to mix things around a bit but obviously you know the paintwork is taking me time it's going to take a lot longer than expected so that's going to delay me up the engine I still got to a readdress I've, I haven't forgotten I just want to make sure I get everything right before I go in but there are other plenty of other jobs of that build ready to do I'll probably tinker with the Z1000 project I've got the ST to come in probably do a little bit more work on the Varadero as I say I, I'm still working from home so I've got well, the next update will obviously be the end of the month, so we'll, we'll see what happens on that one. But I've uh, got what I, I wanted to get done today. I'm going to continue on with these risers, and I'll show you the results of those. So say they have started to come up, but there's a lot more work to do. I don't want them ultra mirrored, but just clean. 
So I say, hopefully that was a good tip on the on the scouring wheels. It's, it's saving me obviously money, which people need to do, and they are doing the job. I just keep swapping out the centres and just cutting up more, so that the pads are actually just scouring pads that are quite uh, easy to get hold of. I'll use the excess bits, even even these bits. I can use just small pieces to get into fine details. But as I say, that just about wraps this video up, so uh, join me again next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.